Good afternoon. Thank you for calling my apartment. Hi there. Uh, this is Lieutenant Tuck Pendleton. I'm calling you from the International Space Station up in space. Yes. Oh, really? Yes. Yep. Uh, we're passing overhead right now. We're about 200 miles up, up in space, up right above your apartment. You're 200 miles up in space, yep. right above our apartment. Yep. Are you listening to this? More or less. The space station calling us. Yes. How can we help you, sir? Uh, well, <laughs> can you see us? <laughs> oh, no, no. Come on. Don't be ridiculous. We don't <laughs> okay. have binoculars up here. But, I know, I know, I'm just kidding. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Um, we're, we're actually, uh, we're beaming, um, you have satellite dishes there, uh, you know, you let your residents have satellite dishes? Um, we're very restrictive, but yes, we do, we have a couple of them. Okay, because yeah. for the past hour we've been beaming high-powered microwaves down at your building, just blanketing the entire property in microwave beams. Okay. And um, those satellite dishes are reflecting the microwaves back up at us and causing all kinds of interference. See. So is there any way you could get those down, like take those down real quick? Um, he says that satellite dishes, they're, they're um, beaming microwave waves at us from up from there, and those satellite dishes are beaming them back, and they want them to be removed. Yeah, it sucks. Is this for real, or is this a joke? Oh, yeah, no, it's completely real. It's, it's something we do. <laughs> uh, like every, every day around this time, we, we pass overhead over oh, your every building. Day? Yeah, you know, you know, we, we're orbiting the Earth, so every day at this exact time, we're right above your apartment. I'm gonna let you. I'm gonna let you speak to our manager. Okay. okay. Just one moment. Hi, this is Kay. Hey, Kay. Uh, this is Lieutenant Tuck Pendleton from the International Space Station. Huh. Yep. I know it's weird. So it's weird to get a call a from an connection. astronaut, but yeah. we have phones up huh. here too. You know. Yeah, I'm. I'm uh, impressed. Uh, yeah. Well, well, thank you, I guess. How did you get the number? You ha did 411, you know? Yeah, yeah, we can call. Directory? I mean, we have internet and everything, but, like, right now we don't because we're uh -huh. beaming microwaves down, like, all over your building. We're just beaming high-powered microwaves at everything on your property. Mm -hmm. But where the satellite dishes are, it's beaming it back up at us, and it's causing all kinds of interference. Okay. Just out of curiosity, why are you beaming um, microwaves? down at us? Uh, it's just kind of an experimental thing we're doing. We're just trying to figure out the, the effects on various materials, like uh, roofing materials and grass and trees. So we're, we're just constant. We've been, like, for the past 30 days, we've been concentrating only on your apartment building. Like, every day that we wow. pass over, we just beam high-powered microwaves. It's safe. Wow. Don't worry about it. Okay, so I'm not going to come down with brain cancer because of this? No, not brain cancer. <laughs> okay. Um, so we only have, can you tell how many we have? Uh, no, we can't really um, see. Uh, and, yeah, they were going to send someone to drive over there, but they didn't have the budget. Okay. Get so there. we have very few, so we should be able to identify them fairly quickly. Okay. So they need to be disabled. Yeah, they could just turn them off. Like, like right now, like your time, it's like one fifteen, right? Correct. Okay. Yeah, if you could just turn them off from from like noon until maybe two p.m. That's the only time we're over, like right above your apartment building, and beaming okay. these high-powered, dangerous microwaves. Right. Uh huh. Okay. So, how long will you be doing this experiment? Uh, we're thinking like another thirty days, but possibly okay. forever. Possibly forever. PLA, PLA all day. Phone 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 PLA, PLA all day. There's a YouTube channel that I watch religiously. From losers of America, they post prodigiously. No kidding, hacking, hidden cameras, making hella calls. Social engineering, Brad is catching. Pokeballs in the backseat of your car, and he's so very sorry. He was searching for the Snorlax, so, so we scratched up your Ferrari. Ferrari. Left a number on the dash, so you called him up so fast just to have a little chat. But he's sorry, don't get mad. Cactus, cactus, the house is not a pool. And if you buy an iPad on the street, that's not too cool. And if you work at Pizza Hut, he's got you on the camera. Tell them you're from corporate and you're in there just like Santa. A shopping spree, people get deceived, dudes. Switching off the power, people will believe you. A blockbuster red box, we just put it in. Our BCP for the win once again. Hey. PLA, PLA all day. Phone 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 PLA, PLA all day. Phone
PLA all day. PLA, PLA all day. PLA, PLA all day. PLA, PLA all day. PLA, PLA all day. They'll call you up at 1 a.m. It's on like, sorry guys, we just destroyed your lawn and can you trim your trees? And yes, I have your mail. Undercutting neighbors trying to have a yard sale. Plus, Mildred Monday, rest in peace. Calling up her next akin with jokes on Christmas Eve. And if you're acting racist on the phone, you'll be busted. Checking into Foursquare, Twitter can't be trusted. Rolling up to Walmart, picking up the phone. Pound 9801, you might get a dial tone. Pound 9802, line two, you're connected. You want house on DVD? His response is unexpected. Hey. I just wanna say thanks for YouTube's best, most creative phone pranks. In a scary time when the world is stressed and sad, thank God we got phone losers and thank God we still got Brad. Hey, PLA, PLA all day. Phone PLA, PLA all day. 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 Hello, who are you holding for? Uh, electronic. Oh, that, that would be me. Uh, I wanted to see if you guys had, uh, Mark and Mindy, uh, that's on a DVD. Mark and Mindy? Yeah, Mark and Mindy. Well, what, like, what are you doing? What are you, are you, like, stuck in the past? Come on, watch something new. Watch Scrub. Thanks, MC Lars, for that intro song. That's kind of the unofficial intro song for the Hang Up the Phone show, but more like the video version of the Hang Up the Phone show, which I never do anymore. I need to do more of those. You know, MC Lars does a podcast that I've been on before. Look up the MC Lars podcast. There's good stuff on it. Mostly just the one with me, you know, but some of the other stuff's pretty good too. I would recommend that podcast. Anyway, you're listening to The Snowplow Show. I'm your host, Brad, and today is June 19th, 2019. This is episode 563, and it's brought to you by Boca Recovery Center, DeLorean J, Lord and Lady of Veggies, Unfortunate Byproduct, and Ryan Jardina. Those are five of the people that support the show on patreon.com slash phone losers or wherever else you can support the show. I have an update on Skunk Works today. A few days ago, he got sentenced to nine years in prison for his manslaughter charge. He's the guy that was digging tunnels underneath his house, a large intricate network of tunnels to hide from the Nazis or something. He's also a guy that used to call into the PLA show back before he kept getting arrested for everything. So that sucks. That seems kind of extreme, but he did kind of kill someone even if it was by accident. He'll be able to get paroled in 4.5 years, assuming he doesn't tunnel out of the prison by then. So hopefully he gets that. That seems more reasonable, 4.5 years. I'll have a link to the article in the show notes. I think a previous article said they're gonna appeal the decision. So maybe they'll keep trying and get a lesser charge. If you happen to be around Chicago on September 7th of this year, then you should come and see us. We're all going to be meeting up somewhere in Chicago. I forget where. The venue has changed a couple of times. It might be on the Facebook page or maybe it's changed. I don't know if you want to look that up. And if you don't have Facebook, then you should hit yourself in the face for not having a Facebook. Come on, it's 2019. Get with the times. Google Plus is dead. Here's a little bit of audio that Reggie sent to me. Thanks for buying Radio Shack's musical messages. They've been specially prepared for optimum phone line response. Here's how to use them to your best advantage. First, using any standard cassette player, listen to the Radio Shack outgoing messages and then choose one. Notice that there is a chime between each message. The chime indicates that you have about three seconds before the next Radio Shack outgoing message starts. Then, in a quiet place, record Radio Shack's outgoing message from the cassette player speaker into the microphone of your answering machine. You can also personalize your message. The B side of the cassette contains only the music. While recording onto your answering machine, simply sing or speak a message and play one of the music selections. Remember, Radio Shack's outgoing messages will work with all types of answering machines, single cassette or endless loop, regardless of the make or age of the machine. And your Radio Shack store offers a complete line of answering machine accessories, including various lengths of endless loop cassettes. And now, enjoy Radio Shack's outgoing messages. I'm sorry that I missed your call, but you don't have to worry. Just leave your name and number and a message at the tone, and I'll be back with you in a hurry.
I have a list here that was sent to me back in May, and it's photographs of a vehicle registration list that's at a front desk of a hostel. And this guy that sent it to me, I guess he stayed there. His name is BK. This is a list of people who registered their car to park in the parking lot in April. He wants me to accuse them of not cleaning up after themselves in the kitchen. Stealing towels is also a huge issue. Do what you will, but I was on camera taking these pictures, so don't blow it for me. Okay, no promises. I'll do my best. And the list has their check-in date, their check-out date, their license plate number, their name, and their phone number. Hello? Hello, Dylan? Yeah? Hey there, uh, this is Roy from the <laughs> hostel that you stayed at back in May, or back in April. Um, Yeah? And um, we were looking at our security cameras and saw that you were doing donuts in your car in our parking lot. No, I wasn't. Like in the woods? <laughs> I wasn't, though. Well, no. I wasn't driving that. Huh? I wasn't doing any donuts or anything like that. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, no, well, it was definitely your car, the, the car that you put down in our, in our, in our registration book here. Because it has your license. My car. Well, it has your license plate number on it. What license plate number did you put? Did you just make one up? No. Then what car was what it? What license plate number do you have? Uh, six. Okay. What's the vehicle? Hell if I know. I'm not a car person. I'm just saying maybe no, when you come what, here next time, the... don't do donuts. No. Your... No, I didn't do any donuts. I don't. That's what I'm talking about. I'm kind of, kind of confused here. I don't know what. Oh, we know you did donuts. Going on or why? The, the, the camera doesn't lie. Like I, I don't think this is a deep fake or anything. Well, I'm think it's, I'm thinking that you're getting something mixed up because it wasn't me. Well, I, we drove up there one time and then taxied everywhere else for the, for the whole thing. Well, someone must have taken so, your car and and did donuts with it. You didn't notice that? No, nobody took my car. Oh yes, they. Well, then it must have been you then. Had to be you or a car thief. Because the thing is, is, I don't have a car. Well, what, whose car was this? Are you a car thief? I don't. I don't have a car. No, I don't have a car. Then, then who's? What car were you in? I no. I'm not. You're misunderstanding. I don't have a car. I have a different type of vehicle than a car. What? What car? What? What is it then? Well, if you guys saw the video, you know what it is. Why don't you tell me? Uh, because you're the one accusing me. Uh, well, this doing was, donuts and doing something at your place. This was just a so, test. I I know it's a motorcycle. Yeah, you can go away now. Okay. What? Don't tell Bye. me to go away. I didn't know what he was getting at. Oh, I just noticed on the list there is a make and model section on the list too. But these are all handwritten, so I can't even read his. I think it starts with a Y and then something runner. I can read some of these, I just can't read all of them. Most of them seem to be cars, though. Oh, wait, I think it says Toyota 4Runner, which I don't know what that is. Let me Google it. Oh, uh, yeah, it's just like a, a Jeep-looking thing, like a truck. So he was just being all nitpicky. Like, eh, it's not a car, it's a truck. What an asshole. Hello? Hello, Monty? Th this is Steve Day from the hostel. Okay. And we were looking at our security footage, like you stayed here back in April. Yeah. And we saw that you were purposely messing up the kitchen. Like you were taking stuff out of the trash can and spreading it around on the tables. That no, was, it definitely wasn't. <laughs> well, no, no, it was definitely you. We, we know who you are. Or, uh, it definitely and, was not me. I wouldn't do that. And I don't drink or anything. So I 100% was not me. Well, no, no, it's like we, we were having a serious problem back then with, with people not cleaning up after themselves in the kitchen, but apparently we weren't. It was just you making it appear that there was a mess. You were just coming in there when you weren't even eating and eating and, and what, are you, what are you talking about? You, were, like, I, I, that's, you might want to look at the footage again because that was not me. Oh, it was definitely you because we can see you going no, right back to your room. Like, it definitely was not me. Why you would guys you, are wrong. Why would you even and you're do that? you me of something I did not do. Are you a sociopath? Like, it, were you just? Did you just think it was funny? Are you? Are you kidding me? Are you actually part of the hostel? Of course I am. I just like, don't. Are I'm, you actually accusing me of this right now? Look, you're not in any trouble. Obviously, you're not here anymore. No, no, I just like. I, I wish like, you. Hey, this is. 
you're accusing me of something I did not do. I just wish you could explain what was going through your head. Like you're taking stuff out of the trash can. Why do you and keep trying to trying to act like I'm telling you I did not do that? Because so you're going to stop saying I did that. Oh no, you were definitely doing it. You were you were like smearing. No, you were smearing. You were smearing food Look on the, the fridge. Again. You were just like throwing things over your shoulder onto the floor and onto tables. Like who? That, that was not me. What, what, what do I look like? What the fuck is what wrong with you? Like? You you what do I look like? you look like a degenerate. What do I look like? You look like a degenerate. Are you are you dead serious right now? I am, Put me on the phone with your manager. Oh, my, Put me on the phone right now she, with your manager. She's in her office. She's busy. She doesn't have care. time to Put deal with degenerates with right now. like you. Right now. All right. I don't care. Fine. fine. I'm not talking to you anymore. Well, I don't want to talk to you because you're a degenerate. Call. Get your fucking manager to whoa, fucking call whoa. me back. Okay, I'm going to tell her that you cursed at me, though. You just you called me a degenerate. Because you're throwing food all over the kitchen. Look at the footage again, and you'll realize it wasn't me. And then you guys will be fucked. No, we we used uh, face matching technology that we leased from Facebook's database. Face mat- no, you did it. Yes, no, we. No, you did it. We don't even bullshit. We me. have security cameras. Don't cam- bullshit. Me. I want to talk to your fucking. Look, manager. I grabbed a screen frame off of it and I put it on Facebook, and it's like, oh, would you like to add the name to this? Here's who it is. So same thing. I don't even have Facebook. What the fuck is but, wrong but you're with being, you? Like. All right, I can put my manager on. Do you want to talk to the manager? Because you're impossible. Yeah, I want to talk to your manager. All right, can you can you hold on one second, please? I have to call her in her office. Can you hold on? Are you going to hold on or not? Should I just hang up? Hello. I don't give a like. What? what hello. Uh, yeah, I want to talk to your manager. Okay, well, hold on then. You got to respond to me and say yes. I will hold. You must be a sociopath. You don't know basic, like, human interaction shit. Just a minute. All of our representatives are currently busy. Please stay on the line, and your call will be answered by the next available representative. Hello, this is Carol. Can I help you? Hi, I'm being accused of something I didn't do, and your employees are... Calling me a sociopath and a degenerate. It's very hard to hear. It's it's hard to hear you. What, where are you at? What are you doing? It's it's so loud there. I am at work. You you guys called me at work, accusing me of something I did not do. Oh, this this must be Monty. I, I yeah, I watched the security footage with Roy. You might want to watch it again because you're wrong. I hope, like, I hope you don't do stuff like that at your work, like go into the break room and just start throwing shit all over the floor. Are you are you joking right now? No, I would not kid about this. I'm the manager of this I'm place. Actually, I'm actually in this weekend, and I'll be stopping by there, and we'll watch that footage together, and then you can owe me a huge apology. Well, I I don't know if we want degenerates hanging around our our, well, I'll our be place. There. Well, I, we might not let you in. We might just tell you to go home. <laughs> you got, you're, you're serious, right? Of course, I'm serious. Like you can't, Look you can't just do this. Again. And you, you Look were, again. and we, we know you were stealing towels too. We know how to count. We know how to do basic math. You're, you're wrong. I did not do that, and you guys are so wrong. Like, like, what do you even need that many towels for? What are you talking about? Like, are you, I, I'm just, I'm wondering, what would you, what would you do with so many towels? Like, why what did you, towels? You t- you took what are we so, talking about? You took so many towels with you. We even have you on security camera putting them in your car. Are you, like, what do I look like to you? Uh, a degenerate. You, <laughs> uh, this is, this is really wrong. I hope you know that. Like, you're, you're accusing someone of something you didn't do? This is really wrong. Look, I, I'm going to need to talk to your manager. Put your manager on the phone. What? I need to talk to your manager. I, I don't want to talk to you, you anymore. Don't need to I talk wanna, to shit. I want to talk to your manager. You put your manager on the phone right now. What are you talking about? I am talking about talking to your manager. Put me on hold and put the manager on. This is my personal line that you're calling me from. Okay, well, well, there's a hold button, right? Put it on hold and go get your manager. I want to talk to your manager. I've had enough of this. 
Spit them on. <laughs> you're, you're, you're honestly a joke. Not Your whole company is a joke. Oh, th why would you stay here then? If you think we're a joke. Is this what you do? You guys just call people and accuse them of doing shit they didn't do or what? Oh, we know it was you. We, we, we have How do you know it's me? Because we have security camera footage. We saw you go into your room. We're like, yep, that's Monty. I remember but him. But there's no, there's no cameras to a room. It's, it's, I don't understand all that work. Oh, you, you, what, you don't. What, 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 date was, what date was this on? Uh, it was on April 6th and April 7th. And we have cameras in the rooms. You just don't know where they are. They're hidden. They're behind the oh, walls. Oh, that's a privacy. That's, that's actually a, that's, okay, I'll be reporting that. That's a huge privacy violation. Yeah, well, you know what? You're not welcome to stay here anymore if you're going to report us. <laughs> I'll, I'll be reporting you guys. Don't worry about that. You can't just call people and accuse them of doing stuff they didn't do. So don't don't worry. This won't be the end of this one. You guys really, really, you shouldn't do what you're doing. It's so wrong. Well, you shouldn't be throwing you shit around a kitchen. For the 900th time, I did not do that, and you're wrong. Oh, we know it was you. We we saw you. We we have we have video evidence of it. Okay. I, it's, it's so wrong that you guys are calling me like that. Anyway, I want to talk to your manager. Put your manager on. Where's your manager? You get your I'm manager. I'm talking to fucking anybody. Get, get your manager right now. Wow. You guys, you guys are like a pretty tough job there, eh? To call people. Sounds, sounds pretty tough. Yeah, well, you're not even a good employee at your job because you're just standing around talking on your cell phone. Oh, yeah? Why don't you get to work? You guys called me. What's yeah. your name? Yeah, why don't you get to work? This is Carol. I'm the manager of the... Carol? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, yeah, we'll watch that tape together. No, we won't. I, I don't... Well, no, we won't. I don't let weirdos in my office. What do I look like? You look like a damn weirdo. I look like a what? A damn weirdo. I wasn't even there on April 6th. Yes, you were. <laughs> No, I wasn't. I'm sure you were. Check your I records. Just, I just checked. I just checked my schedule. I was not there. I wasn't even there. You guys are fucking losers. Oh, well, it's probably Luke then. I'm sorry. I thought. Oh, there he goes. I wanted to apologize to him for getting the wrong person. It was Luke all along. The person who operates me is unable to communicate with you at the present time. If, however, you leave your name and your number and any other pertinent data at the tone, my operator will return your call. Call, please. Hello, Michael speaking. Hey, Michael. Uh, this is Dave from the hostel. You stayed here back in April. Which hospital? The, the hostel. Oh, the hostel. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I, w I was just wondering, um, could you um, maybe mail those towels back to us? Or are you going to be staying here again next year? Maybe you could bring them back. Towels? Yeah, you, you took a lot of towels back with you that weren't yours. Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> oh, no, we we know you did. We which can, we can which, tell. Which, which hostel is this? Uh, the... Yeah, I... I yeah, I never took any towels from your hostel. Oh, we know you took the towels. Like, there's no sense in denying it. We we know you took the towels. I just, I think you took more than you needed, really. Like, usually if a guest just steals one or two, it's fine. You know, we just let that slide. But you took upwards of ten. We just need to get those so, back. I'll be quite honest with you. I did not take any towels from are you saying yeah, you were dishonest with us in the past and you did take towels? Okay, I, I did not. <laughs> this is nothing I ever did. Hmm. I have enough towels at home. I don't need to take anything. Yeah, our towels aren't even that nice, to be honest. It's weird that you would take them all like that. <sighs> Look, you don't have to admit that you were wrong to do it. Like, Can you just send them back to us, though? Or, or at least bring them back to us next year. Because we're really low on towels, and those things, you know, the costs add up for all the towels we have to buy. Oh, I, no, I appreciate your um, 
what you mean by that, but I not did this in the state of the hostel and there's 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 no uh <laughs> stay off and there's no there's no way I took any towels. Well, no, you could have put them in you your might bag. Have got the person confused. You, you, I think you just put them in your bag and and left with them. Because we, we keep a tight inventory on those towels, and we noticed after you were after you were gone, like so many were missing. And, and so, so what's your name at the hostel? Uh, my name is Steve Dave. Steve. Steve Dave. Yeah, and you're the manager of the hostel. Uh, I'm just the front desk worker. The manager's in her office. So what makes you think that I took towels from the hospital? Well, we, we have security camera footage of you uh, slipping some into your bag. Mm, I don't I, Well, it's obviously not me on your, on your video. Really? Even after we have video evidence, you're, you're still going to deny it? Look, you're not in any trouble exactly. I'm just asking nicely. Could you just send them back? If I had any... <laughs> okay. All right, um, th this is a, so I appreciate you reaching out. I, uh, this is a false um, accusation, but I appreciate you reaching out. Well, and, and I'll be quickly honest with you, right? This is, if I had any towels, I don't care about towels, right? Like this is. <laughs> like how many towels does one person towels. need, really? Like do, do you use them for work or something? Like are they like drop cloths for painting or? Nope, I don't do. So you just use them in the shower? You just use them in the shower and the baths? No, I don't do that. I, 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 I don't know. I don't think this is. Like, I'd love to see a photo of me because this is not me. This is this is nothing I've ever done. So you could email me the photo. How about that? Of course, yeah. But how about this? Like, if you promise me that you'll do something uh, nice with the towels, like maybe give them to homeless people. Like, you can just keep them, but, you know, not keep them. Like, give them to homeless people or donate them to an old folks' home. I'll, I'll tell you what I'm going to do, okay? I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do, Steve. Okay. I can't donate any towels I don't have, but what I'm going to do is there's a lot of homeless people where I live, so I'm going to go donate some cash to them. How about that? You're going to make what? Because I don't have any towels to donate to any homeless people, but what I'm going to do in your in, in, in the name of hostel, right, to... Uh -huh. to, to pass some stuff forward we can say that i'll go make a cash donation to some homeless people near my work just for fun because i don't have any towels to donate <laughs> so I, I can't do that but that'd, I'll be do something else that'd be possibly. nice of you since you already gave our towels away or, or did you know <laughs> threw them in the trash or maybe just threw them out the window <laughs> as you're driving okay. down the road yeah that, that'd be great I, i'd appreciate that i'll do that well thank you so much okay or maybe you could just buy some towels yeah. and give them to the homeless. The homeless don't have enough towels. No. Yeah. No. No. All right. Thanks for the call, Steve. I hope you have a good day. Okay. I hope you do, too. Goodbye, Michael. Bye now. Well, look at that. We just got a donation for some homeless people. This show does so much good in the world. I'm having to skip over a lot of these because the handwriting is so bad that I can't read their numbers. And a few of them I've called. The numbers haven't worked. I think because I'm dialing the wrong numbers because I can't read them. Wait, just wait for the tone if you're going to leave a message for me. You can tell me anything you want, but wait, you got to wait for the tone. I'll call back when I get back, so wait, just wait for the tone. Wait. Hello? Hello, Carissa? Yep. Hey, um, this is Steve Dave. I'm with the hostel that you stayed at back in April. Yep. And I was. Just, are you are you coming here again next year? Um, I don't know. Cause Roy was at the front desk. He's a he's a new employee. He didn't know to tell you, but like you came here in that um that Chevy GMC, the white truck. Yeah. Yeah. And we don't allow that here. We're we're a strictly a Ford um, place. Oh. Sorry, what? We're strictly a Ford place. You know we. We're we're of the mindset that Chevy suck and and Ford's rule. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so maybe you could not come here in your Chevy. Okay. Maybe sure. buy a real you know a real man's truck. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'd appreciate that. Will do. All right. 
Great, okay. great. So we have an understanding. I'm I'm so sorry that Roy didn't mention this to you when you came in. <laughs> okay, I'm actually not even sure what it is because it's three trucks put together. So yeah, that's just gross. <laughs> I mean, you wrote on here. Free. You wrote on here, GMC Sonoma. Yes. So. So yes. But I don't. That, that's what it says on the paperwork. But yeah. Okay. Well, that's I. That's what it is. You know, usually we turn people away when they bring in Chevys. Okay. So yeah, fuck Chevy, basically. No more. No more <laughs> driving Chevys here. All right. All righty. All you. right. I hope you have a nice rest of your day. You too. All right. Bye. All right. Bye. I need to try that with a male, but I guess the type of male to care about the whole Chevy Ford thing wouldn't be the type of person to stay in a hostel. This is John. Hey, John. This is Bob Dobbelina. I'm with the, the hostel that you stayed at back in April. Yeah. And um, you came here in that, that Chevy Equinox? Yes, I did. And you know we're a Ford place, right? John? Yes. Y- you know we're a Ford place? Uh, a Ford place? Yeah, well, it's just that we, we, like our employees, like they, they should have told you that you can't park here. Like we we think that uh, Chevys suck, and Ford's rule, and basically it's kind of an insult to bring your Chevy onto our property. Oh, okay. So I, I don't know what you're trying to prove, but you, you basically just made yourself look like an idiot bringing your Chevy here. <laughs> Word. And I'd appreciate it if you could not do that again. Well, I won't plan on it. I, it might be a Toyota next time, though. Okay, well, that's, that right? that's fine. Yeah, Toyota's fine. It's just the Chevy specifically. You know, we can't expect everyone to drive a Ford, but come on, a Chevy? <laughs> Rental car, what are you going to do? Yeah, we'll ask for something that's not a Chevy. Like, you have a choice, right? Uh, sometimes. I'll, I'll keep that in mind for next time. All right. I'm just saying Chevys are shit. <laughs> if you don't drive a Ford, you're not you're not really a real man. So you're just making yourself look stupid. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Okay. Well, uh, I just wanted to clear that up. You know, if you come here next year, make sure you're not driving a Chevy. Well, I I appreciate the heads up there. Yep. No problem. I hope you enjoyed your stay. <laughs> yeah. You have a good one. You too. Goodbye. But <laughs> no one's going to take that seriously. I got to give up on that one. I'm on page two already. I don't see a lot of Fords or Chevys that I can yell at people about. They all drive Kias and VW Golfs and Hyundais. I can't come to the phone. I can't come to the phone. Don't leave your name at the door. Don't leave your name at the phone. And say what you gotta say. And say what you gotta say. And I'll call you back right away. Hello. Hello, Mr. Baines. Wrong number. Nuh-uh. Oh, wait. Oh, what? It's not Baines the... Baines is my friend, friend's last name. Oh, well, I'm calling from the hostel. Uh, you guys were up here in, in March? Yes, we were. And your stupid outlander, it leaked oil all over your parking spot. Didn't have an outlander. Uh huh. You had a, a Mitsubishi Outlander. No, I didn't. Well, then you lied because it says right here on on the papers you you had an Outlander. Why would you lie? I rented the car. I have no idea what it was, but I didn't think it was a Mitsubishi Outlander. Well, it was it was an out. That's what you wrote, or that's what Baines wrote. So okay, um, what can I? You need to come up here right away and bring some kitty litter with you because we're going to put it on the parking spot to absorb the oil. 
And you just discovered this now, and I was there three months ago? Well, March and April, that's the busy month, so we haven't had time to notice. But nobody's used your parking... And, Hattie, Hattie, and I'm the only one that parked there that whole time. Yeah, pretty much. And we know it was you anyway, because we uh, reviewed the security footage. And it showed that, um, you know, after you left, there was just this huge puddle of oil. And well, it, it's a mess out there. It's, it's like an environmental hazard. Well, I live in Nebraska. Yeah, so get your ass up here and bring some kitty that's, litter with you. That's not, that's not going to happen, my friend. Well, you can't, you can't, what can we do? What can we do? You can't just leave a mess here like this for us. Like, if you had called me three months ago, maybe I could have done something about it. Yeah, you know, why don't you take some responsibility for your action and bring us some damn kitty litter? I live 1,500 miles away. That's no excuse. You need to grow the fuck up. Bring us some kitty litter. I am sorry. I, can I talk to your manager? For what? Can I talk to your manager? Please? Only if you'll give me Bane's number, because I'm going to yell at him, too. I'm going to give him a talking to. Can I talk to your manager, please? Well, can I please have Bane's number? Because I, I really want to, like, tear into him. For this... She lives in India. Oh. Wh what were, you guys, were you guys together? You know, like, were you... Like, did it not work out? Give me your manager's phone number. No, I, well, no, I can transfer you. Give me? She's, transfer me to your manager. Okay, I was just wondering what the deal was with you two. Cause transfer the, me to your manager. All right, just, just a minute. Hold on. Please wait. Your call is being transferred to the next available agent. Suck a polar bear's funky ass. Sucker resources come with honey's tomato ketchup. Sucker. Hello, this is Carol. Can I help you? Yes. I don't know what's going on. Evidently, over two months ago, the car I rented leaked some oil in your parking lot. Now oh, I have this gentleman on the phone insisting I come there, be a man, and clean it up. You're, you were in that Outlander, right? I have no idea. I rented the car March 28th. Okay. How come you're just calling me now? Well, man, you, you should, like, uh, I don't know, don't use that rental agency again. Your car was leaking oil like crazy. It was, it was leaking into the spot next to you, even. Are you sure it was me and not the car next to me leaking into it? No, no, it was, it was all mainly under yours. I'm just saying some of it overran into the spot next door. Why didn't, why didn't you call me two months ago? Well, because we've been really busy. It's the busy season. But like you, ah, that has nothing to do with it. You have no proof that it wasn't somebody else's car. Oh, no, we know it was you because when you were here, you were tracking oil in on your shoes and getting it on the carpet. Why didn't you say anything then? Well, because Roy was working the fr front desk, and, and he's really timid. He's, he's afraid, like, he, he was afraid to talk to you. If he, if he said anything, we could have done something about it then. Well, you, you should have just known to do some, how, something. How could I know about something that I didn't know existed? I don't know. Like, I don't know where all this oil came from, because the car, I drove the car back to Seattle... I kept it for another week after that. I had no leaks on my children's house driveway. Hey, you're the one that had the girlfriend from India, right? Yes. Well, what happened? Like, did she, uh, did, you, did, you, did she move in with you? It's none of your fucking business. I was just making, make, making conversation, that's all. No, I want you guys... I'm, I'm sorry. I, actually, it was Steve, Dave. I, he's here in the office now. He's like whispering. He's like, ask what happened with the Indian girl. And I, I was just trying, you know, he, he asked me to ask. I didn't know. I'm sorry. Everything is fine. All I know is, is what can we do 
to do something about this. I am not driving up there. I may be in for a year from now. Can you bring some kitty litter with you when you come next year? Sure. That'd be nice. Or I mean, but I think you'd want to clean it up before then. Yeah, it's it's a it's a kind of an environmental hazard at this point. It's, it's uh, yeah, but it's your environmental hazard because you've known about it for over two months and done nothing. Yeah, but it was your damn so car. Like so because you're accusing me of something I had no control over. Well, you know, you you could have like you know I, looked where you're going and then seen that you had oil all over your shoes. Like, look at your shoes right now. I bet you, you still have oil. I'll go look. You're probably just going to tell me that you don't, though, you know, just to make yourself look better. Would you like me to take a picture of the shoes? Okay. I think you're a couple of children that are trying to abuse someone. What does that mean? Uh, I, think, I think, why don't you transfer me to somebody that's intelligent, that knows enough not to ask personal questions. Well, no, it wasn't me asking the personal question. It, it was uh, yes, Steve Day. It came out of your mouth. Yeah, but Steve Day was whispering things in my ear and saying, ask her about the Indian girl. Ask her about the Indian girl. You tell Steve he needs to grow up. You need to grow up. Steve, Goodbye. Grow up. Oh, I didn't even get the report on his shoes. Like if his shoes were clean or not. I was going to put the robot on the phone. The robot's intelligent. Damn it. Hello? Hello, Tori? No, you've got the wrong number. Ah, god damn it, fuck. Why? I'm just saying fuck, you know, like she gave me this number and it's not her. Oh, and god no, damn it. No, it's not her. Fucking fuck goddamn shit. Oh, okay. Well, have a nice day. I'm from the hostel. Bye-bye. Oh shit, I think I said the wrong name. Hello? Hello, Jane? Who's this? Uh, this is Carol. I'm calling from the hostel. And? And you For were, what? Well, you were here back in April. And, um, like, you know the washing machine? You kept throwing your towels behind the washing machine. Uh, you and, got the wrong person. Well, is this not Jane? No. It sounds like Jane. I remember what you sound like. This is just weird. What do you mean? I don't know what you're talking about. I, I, I don't know what you're talking about. Well, you, you stayed in the hostel, right? No. Is she, don't lie. Come on. I remember your voice. <laughs> I certainly don't remember your voice. Okay, well, that's rude. What the fuck is that supposed to mean? So I called her with the wrong name, and then I called her with the right name, and it's still not her. And she's got good handwriting, so I'm sure I'm dialing the right number. Hello? Hello, Kevin? Yep. Hey there, it's, it's Carol from the hostel. You stayed here back in April? Uh, yeah. And you know the washing machine here? You kept throwing your towels behind it. Like, we thought you were stealing towels. But it turns out you were just throwing your towels behind the washing machine. I didn't use the washing machine in April. I was well, I stood on the not. board of directors for. Yeah. Uh, and we weren't doing any laundry. Yeah. Well, I know you weren't because you're throwing your towels behind the washing machine. Like, you know, they go in the washing machine, not behind the washing machine. And I just had to spend all this time behind the washing machine digging it out. And it was all dirty and gross back there. And a couple of these towels are ruined because of you. Cause it, what it, was your name? This is Carol. Because the, there was a leak back there, and it just sat in the water, and it got all mildewy. And plus, it's just gross because it's just dusty back there, dusty and wet. And I've been having to fish out yeah. your, your damn towels, Kevin. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm familiar with how laundry is done. I'm telling you that I sit on the board of directors, so when I stayed there in August... Or April, all I was doing was having meetings with the rest of the board. Okay, Mr. Fancy Pants, that doesn't give you the right to throw towels behind the washer. 
Like just put them no, in the hamper. No, I'm telling you that I did not do any laundry. Oh, I, I, I know you didn't do laundry. You threw it behind the washer. Like, why, why would you do that? Just, just put it no, in the No, I'm telling you I didn't go into the room. I'm not sure how you connected. I don't doubt that somebody was putting stuff behind the washing machine. I'm not sure how you think it was me that was doing it. Oh, I know it was you doing it. Like, you could have just put it in the hamper like a normal person. Like, that's what most people do. But thanks to how, you. How, how have you made the connection? Well, you're just, you just seem like the type. What, what does that mean? Oh, you know what I mean. Look, just next time you're here, you need to put your towels in the no, hamper. No, I'm, as I'm asking you what you mean by you seem like the type. Well, you just seem like the type to be lazy. and I mean, I mean it's not even laziness, really. The, the hamper's right there. You could have just put it in the hamper. You don't have to do your own laundry. We'll wash the towels I still don't for understand you. How you. I don't understand how you think it was me that was doing it. Well, look, I, I don't have an answer for that. I'm just saying I think it was you, and maybe you should just apologize, and we'll just move on. Okay, well, this was a wildly inappropriate phone call to make, so I'll be reaching out to to find out why you would reach out to any guest and speak to them the way that you're speaking. Oh, to I don't care if you talk to You tell him or he can suck my dick. Okay. He can go fuck himself. Great, you should definitely talk to the CEO about that. Well, what's that supposed to mean? That you would need to go and talk to him. Like, why would you even speak about the CEO that way? Well, why, why would I? I wouldn't say that to the CEO. I'd get myself fired. Exactly. So, Not an idiot. what's your angle here? I, I'm just asking, next time you're here, please put your towels in the hamper, okay? That's all. You don't need to make a big thing of this. I wasn't making a big thing of it. You kind of I'm are. not even doing laundry at your hostel. Well, just just apologize and hang up. Carol, right? Yeah, Carol. Your sperms. Okay, thanks for calling, Carol. All right, thank you. Like, like l learn how to do laundry. Okay, there he goes. Oh, my God, this list goes on forever. That was page two, three, four, five, six pages. I can't do all this. I'm going to have to save this for another show, maybe. Maybe I'll do three on this show and three on the next show. Please don't leave me with the dial, don't you come home too. All you have to do is tell me who you are. Leave your name and your number and a message at the tone. And I'll talk like that to you when I get home. Hello? Hello, is this Marquis? Yes. Hey there, uh, this is Jared from the hostel that you stayed at. Hi, you stayed at you stayed here a few months ago, and you had the Ford. Free Star. Yeah, yeah, the Fo Ford for Forester. Yeah, um, uh, we're no. we're more like a Chevy place. I'm sorry, what? We're more Who like are a, you? we're more th this this is this is Jared. I work at the front desk. I'm just going through okay. the, the old records here from a couple months ago, and they should have said something to you. They shouldn't have let you park your Ford here in our parking lot. But uh, we're we're okay. Uh, what, why is that? Well, we're we're more just like into Chevys here. Like we think Ford sucks, and and Chevy <laughs> like everyone should drive Chevys. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so I'm, I'm just saying, like maybe next time you're here, you mm. could not bring a Ford under our parking lot. Oh, funny. Well, it's funny because I'm coming back next week, and I haven't changed my car. Oh, you need like you need to park that out in the street or something. Like, don't par don't bring it in the parking lot. <laughs> oh, okay, we'll, whatever. We'll make fun of you. Like we made fun of you when you were here last time, but we'll do it to your face because you've been warmed. Okay. Um, is this real or is this a joke? Oh no, it's completely real. We're just more we're more like Chevy guys here. Us here at the front counter, we're into Chevys. We all have Chevys. I have a GMC truck. Okay. I like to work on okay, Chevys. Okay, what about... Like Ford, you can't even okay, repair what those. About... Well, okay. Um, is there anything else that you need to tell me? Because I'm at work and... <laughs> Where do you work if at? It's just about our... Well, that's not, that's not of your business. <laughs> oh, wow. Jeez. Just, just asking. Just making conversation. Well... Holy okay. Shit. And you said, what was your name again? You said Jared. Yep, Jared. From the hostel. 
Yeah, yep, that's me. <laughs> I used to do subway okay, commercials. Um, okay. So, um, um, can you cool. just... Like, I can let you go. Can you just admit that Chevys are superior before I let you go? No. Just say, <laughs> just say, um, um no, just say I've my never, Ford sucks. I've and never, what? No. No. I've never drove a Chevy, so I wouldn't be able to tell. Yeah, but you've driven a Ford, so, so you, know how much, next time? you know how much Ford sucks, because you've driven a Ford. No, maybe you suck, because you've never driven a good Ford. Oh, I've driven I've driven a few Fords and and they're all garbage. Like they should just, just throw well, them straight have, in the dump. Well, we have two Ford Free Stars and they are awesome. We can sleep in them. We can like put so many bikes in them and yeah, we can do a lot of stuff. So you know, we've never had an issue with them. So maybe you just come around and think Ford is actually uh, not a bad brand. Well, and have you, you ever driven a Chevy? Chevy. I don't remember. I don't think so. You'll see. There, there's you your know problem. What? In Europe, in, in Europe, Chevy is a cheap brand. No one buys Chevy. And yeah. I'm hey, from guess Europe. what? We're not in so fucking I Europe. We're, we're in fucking America. I know, but I don't have a, I don't have a really high opinion. Hey, why are you calling me to like? This is wrong. Okay, I'm gonna hang up, Jared. I. Well, this is wrong. I don't know what's going on here. Well, just admit that Chevys <laughs> are better. That's all. No. They are. No. Like, you're just afraid to admit it. Well, you're, you're like you're you're jealous. Call someone else. No, call someone else to ask that because you're calling the wrong person. You're jealous of my Chevy. No. Okay. All right. See you later. If you if you weren't, you'd admit it. No. No, I don't want to admit anything. I don't want to admit something that I don't know because I don't know. And when I come around next week. At the hotel, maybe you can let me dry your Chevy, and I may, maybe I'll change my mind. Until then... Why don't you rent a Chevy? Rent a Chevy and bring it here, <laughs> and then you'll see. But bring it, give me some money, and then I'll rent a Chevy. Well, what, are you poor? <laughs> no. Well, why don't you rent your own okay, damn Chevy? Okay. I, don't, I don't have to pay for your cars. Bye. Bye, Bye Jared. Goodbye. <laughs> Bye. Finally, somebody argues with me. Maybe the Ford owners are just more argumentative. Darling, I miss your call, but you don't have to worry at all. Because if you leave a message for me after the tone, I'll call you back when we can be alone. Hello? Hello, Kate. Hi. Hi. This is Steve Dave. Is I'm, I'm with the <laughs> hostel you stayed at. Uh, a few months ago. Oh, hi. Hi. Uh, I just had to address a few complaints we had about you. Um, they were all saying you were staying up late and listening to Middle Eastern music really loud. And we're not racist. We're not racist just because it's Middle Eastern music. I'm, I'm just, like any kind of music, you can't you can't play it loud late at night. You, like, can you bring headphones next time? It, I. I'm sorry, I'm really confused. This is about Middle Eastern music. A stay. Yeah, you stayed here um yeah, I don't. back on the twenty ninth through the thirty first a few months ago. And you, you uh what you're, month? Uh March, right? March twenty ninth to thirty first. Yep, that's the one. So yeah, like just next time you're here, can you bring some headphones instead of a boom box? To play your Middle Eastern... I, I'm music. just a bit confused because like, I was not up late and I wasn't listening to music. Not even Middle so, Eastern music? Like, nope. Like, I was going skiing. I went to bed early and got up early. Hmm. Um, so I'm not sure like where were the complaints from. Oh, we had several complaints about you. They said you, just, you, you brought a boombox with you and you were playing Middle Eastern music very loud late into the night. Maybe do you just go to sleep with music playing with middle Middle Eastern music playing? No, no, I no, I would not have done that. Huh. Um, me personally, like who, like uh, who? I don't understand. So I was with a a group of friends. So like them personally, or people? Well, I can't in really say. Who like I don't understand. I I can't really say who complained. You know, this privacy stuff. But like, can you just not? Maybe just don't even bring Middle Eastern music with you next time. I, I, I don't even know what Middle Eastern music is. Um, I'm not even sure like what that means. 
Well, they they have all the weird notes, like the the offset notes that are like in between our notes. So it's not really very American. And I don't think they were being racist. Like I, I don't want to I don't make it sound like they're being racist, but I, I think it's just. I just like I'm I'm very confused by this phone call. Um and. Also, like, why am I getting a phone call about this months later? Because we were like, really was this busy. A recent complaint? We were, yeah, we were. No, well, it was back then. It's just we were really busy, and the complaints pile up during that time, and we're just getting getting to them as fast as we can. But um, just just if you bring a boombox, or I mean, can you just put your Middle Eastern music on your iPhone or something? And, and, you know, you yeah, I'm sorry. I'm a bit, I'm a bit offended by this call. You keep saying like, "Can you put your Middle Eastern music?" And I actually don't know what you're referring to. Why is it offensive? Though? So sure, I won't. Yeah. Are you? If are I you ever come again? I won't listen to music. No, Middle, Middle Eastern music. Why are you so offended? It's specifically, it's specifically the, the problem is that I was listening to Middle Eastern music. No, no, no. I'm not saying that. Like, why would you be offended? You don't even know what Middle Eastern music is. I think they should be offended right. that you don't know what their music is like. Okay, you know what? No problem. This won't happen again, so don't okay. worry about it. So can you just can you just keep your Middle Eastern music on your iPhone? Yeah, I'm going to hang up now. I, I, I'm not sure if you realize that the way you're phrasing this is like incredibly <laughs> offensive to Middle Eastern people. Well, I think it's offensive. You don't even know their music. Like you, you don't so I'm not sure why you keep asking me. You keep saying the sentence. Can you keep your Middle Eastern music on your own phone? But it's just a bit strange to me. Well, yeah, not everyone wants to Anyways, hear that. As I said, some people like country. As I said, some people it, like. It's not going to happen again, so no worries. Okay. Well, wait. You're not looking for a loophole, are you? You're not going to like bring your Egyptian music with you next time. I'm not even planning to stay with you guys again. It was a school trip. I don't usually stay with you guys. Well, you, you, didn't enjoy again. Your, you didn't enjoy your stay here? I mean, you can come on your own. You don't have to just come with school people. I was, I'm sorry. This is a very strange conversation, but I totally understand your message and no problem. It's not going to happen again. Okay. I'm not even saying okay. anything about about Middle Eastern music this time. I, I was just saying, you, you know, you don't, you, you can stay here, Middle Eastern music or not. Is this, a, is this a prank call? Why do you say that? Because I keep giggling in the background? No, I'm just like very legitimately confused. No, it's just my, 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 uh, my coworker, Carol, she keeps tickling me. I'm, I'm I, to... I can't even hear laughter. Oh, okay. Thank God. Never so mind. I said that. That's not why for... I was asking that. Okay, good. Good, good, good. This, this be is 100% a prank call, right? No, a prank. Like, I'm trying to do my job here. I I'm trying to be as sensitive as I can about your Middle Eastern music. And your... This sounds like those radio shows that uh, you're trying what? to, like, get the person to say something. Like that, that, this is what's going on, right? This is like a radio, and this is a prank call. All right, I'm look. <laughs> hey, Lamo, you just got full on butt slammed by the Skippy and Dippy Morning Show on 100.9 The Gerbil. Don't let it get you down. Slamming is what we do best. To hear your call and to hear yourself get totally slammed, tune in every weekday morning at 8 30 and 10 30 to hear the daily butt slam. After this pre-recorded message, you'll be transferred to one of our jockeys who will get your permission to air your slam. If we don't get your permission, we'll air it anyway. Because we're totally wacky. Tune in every weekday. Hello, this is Carol. Can I help you? <laughs> I let that entire thing play out. Not Brad's butt slam thing. I really should shorten up the version of it that I have. Fucking not Brad. Making it as long as possible. I'm not alone, but I'm at home. Still, I'm not free to get the phone. So leave your name and number two, and I'll quickly get back to you. Hello? Hello, Shane? Yeah. 
Hey, it's it's Bill from the hostel. You stayed here back in March. Yeah. Hey, um, yeah. I, we we were just we we've been trying to figure out who ripped the last pages out of all of our books in the library, and we figured okay. out that it was you. And we were just uh, no. We just don't understand why you did that. Can you not do that again? Because no. Why would you think that I did that? Well, we we've been combing through the security footage, and like all these people have been checking out books. And then they get upset because they don't know how their book ended, because you ripped out the last page of every single book in the library. And I didn't do that actually. Carol is especially upset. She's the the manager here because she was reading a book. I did. Okay, re repeat after me. I did not do this. Well, I know I didn't uh, do this. I don't this. know where you're getting this information. Well, I didn't do it. So. Well, we know uh, you anyways, did. We, we, the, have a good day. The, the camera doesn't lie, sir. And and just it wasn't like me. don't do it again, because Carol she was reading Fifty Shades of Grey. Of course he's gonna deny it. They always deny it. All right, so I've called three entire pages now. Most of them didn't answer. There was a lot of numbers on every page, but I didn't get answers on most of them. And I didn't put this into a document file where I could notate which ones didn't answer. So I'm just done with the first three pages. But I've got three pages left. Maybe I'll do those on the next show. Maybe I'll do them on a hobo sode. I don't know. Those were fun to call, though. Thank you, BK, for sending those in. So many of the numbers I just couldn't read because the handwriting is so bad. Or their name was really sloppy, and I just didn't want to try and guess their name. These people and their handwriting. Hey, Roy. Brad. Hey. Uh, it's Alex from Jersey and Ryan from Jersey. And Nikki from Jersey. Holy They're shit. All saying hi. Thanks for sort of answering my question. Oh, by the way, he, um... Uh, the thing I was talking about, the AOL phone game or whatever. Oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> Dwight goes in it, I'm a man with a mop and a used condom. What do you say? So hopefully that'll get closer to the origin of it. Yeah, um, I did ask Dwight about that. I think in the last voicemail segment, I told you I was going to ask Dwight about that, and I did, and he had no idea what I was talking about. So we're pretty sure it's just all in your head. But I'd love to hear it again. But anyway, so everybody's here. Hi, Cactus! Cactus, cactus. Right. Yeah, that was Opie. Yeah. All so, right, bye. Uh, it's like another 10 seconds of that. Maybe if Dwight's listening, that'll jog his memory. He'll know what you're talking about. We all do so many pranks that we can't keep up with it all. Hey, Brad, it's Red Eagle Cobra. I was just, uh, I had a proposition for episode 404 because it didn't exist. Mm -hmm. I think we all should make, uh, or you could get fans to submit calls that they make that are PLA style calls, assuming they're recorded very well. Yeah. And I think that we could uh, create it as a fan episode. I think we could splice it together, just, just uh, assuming they follow the rules and all that kind of stuff. But I think that would be really good. Yeah. Uh, if Why not? you don't want to do it for 404, if you really want to leave that blank, I think maybe we could do that uh, for a special episode. Or if you want to take a break or something, I think we could do a fan a fan, a fan call episode or just calls that fans make and submit. Could I go on uh, and then a, a full episode. It should be 404, but whatever. Uh, just a thought I had. All right. Ready, go out. I would like to do something with episode 404, because as a joke to new listeners years ago, somebody suggested that I just not do an episode 404, because it would be hilarious for everybody to be asking why 404 is missing. Get it? Probably not. It's a dumb joke. So there is no episode 404, but I've been thinking about inserting something in there. I've thought about doing a show and just putting it there and then never announcing it anywhere. You guys can just stumble across it someday. But yeah, we could do just a show of other people's prank calls on it. Or I have this whole directory here of prank calls that people have sent to me. It looks like there's about 15 emails in here going back to 2017 of people's prank calls that I still haven't played on this show. I could just make one myself if I really wanted to. I need to start playing these. Hey, Arby. It's the duelist. Hey. hey, I was just wondering... How do the answering machines know when to pick up when someone calls? Is there like a signal or something? I don't know. <laughs> I was just watching uh, It's magic. summer school. What? And they had Why? an answering machine on it. And I was like, how the hell does it know to pick up? Yeah. Let me know. Love the show. Butterfly kisses. All right. The things you wonder when you're high as fuck. The answering machine knows to pick up after two rings or four rings, whatever you set it to. It detects the change in voltage in the line. And it's like, ooh, there's one ring. There's another ring. Nobody's picked up yet. It's time to start up the machine. That's all. It's pretty easy. 
Hey, Brad. It's deep in the heart of Texas, driving back from my parents' place in Houston. Hello. Hey, just wanted to say I hope you're having a happy Father's Day. It's Sunday. Uh, I hope you have a good day your kids it was and everything. Right. Um, hey, Brad, two things. Uh, one is that uh, for your toilet flush thing. You know, that reminds me, after my Father's Day stuff... I did create an awesome video, which you can watch at youtube.com slash rbcp, and I'm putting a link to that in the show notes right now for everybody to go and watch. Um, there's a chain of these massive gas stations here in Texas, and they're building them out to Georgia called Bucky's. They really are prideful about their bathrooms. You should do the toilet prank, uh, toilet prank on them. Uh, yeah. That's called okay. Bucky's again. I have never heard of Bucky's before. I haven't been in Texas in like 10 years or something, but yeah, I've never heard of Bucky's. Also, the other thing I wanted to say was that the app um, that I was mentioning before that said that uh, your name is Brad the Carter, it's called True Caller. I recommend looking into this because you can leave <laughs> you can leave reviews about people's phone numbers and oh, report cool. people as scams or not. That's awesome. Uh, I know a lot of Indian people use it because, you know, shocker, I fucking work with them. But, yeah, anyways, uh, un under a minute, go kill yourself. No, I'm just kidding. All right, Indians use them because you work with them? Anyway, yeah, I'm for anything that can fix caller ID, because caller ID has been broken for almost 20 years now. It's basically garbage. My Android phone, whenever it gets a call from a known scammer, it pops up a red box on the screen and says, possible scam call, be careful. And then when I don't answer it, it pops up another dialogue box and says was that a scam call help us confirm it so it's cool that that stuff is happening what i was asking you though on, the, on your last voicemail what i was wondering was what number of mine were you seeing that on which phone number and when was i calling you for you to see my caller id because brad the carter is one of my gmail account names but i wouldn't be calling from that number ever so why would anything associate me with that name that's what i was confused about Hey, Brad, it's your mom here. Hey, Mom. I um, wanted to ask that you could do more of the calls when you call people in the middle of the night. I love those calls, man. Yeah. People get so pissed off. Ask them what they're really dreaming late. about. I would like to do those again soon. Those are definitely fun. Yo, Brad, it's JD calling. I was just listening to the last show, um, and I noticed that Ruprecht called in mentioning the Motel Rain saga. And I heard you say that uh, it was on Rev's channel, and I wanted to call him and uh, confirm that I do believe that is Rev, and he is a listener. Whoa. I think that's his call. It's actually pretty funny. He drives Rev's this famous. guy Howard out of his fucking mind. And, um, you know, not all of them are great, but some of the ones, he just loses it. It's fantastic. So definitely highly recommend the Motel Rain Saga, and that is Rev, your listener. All right, man. Cactus. Thanks, JD. I forgot to listen to that. I meant to listen to it. I left it open on my computer, and then I don't know what happened. I just didn't end up listening to it. I need to try that again. Okay, Roy, I hope you didn't delete the album and uh, this part two. I'll make it quick. What? Come uh, on. Yeah, I, you need another uh, hold message tone. And I think it would be really cool if J.D. did something with the uh, music. So J.D. is calling and mentioning Ruprecht, and then Ruprecht is calling and mentioning J.D., you two need to get a room or something. Background and plays the girl who was flustered with the toilet prank. You know, she was like, <laughs> and just have that right with a instrumental in the background for you to use when you're putting when Carol puts people on hold. Yeah, I think it's a great idea. JD, make it happen, baby. Okay. All right, I'm out of here. He also left 20 seconds of a voicemail before that voicemail, and then just kind of continued on the second voicemail. I don't think we missed anything important though. Thanks, Ruprecht. Hi, Brad. Lord of Veggies here. Hey. So, uh, heard a lot of people weren't liking your chicken episode. Yeah, fuck those uh, people. I have to say, I actually quite enjoyed it. Me too. So, uh, basically, that's all I wanted to say. It was different. Um, oh, that girl, you made the her brain melt? That was awesome. Have a good one. Bye. That was nuts. I thought she was going to faint or something. Hey, Brad, this is Chupacabra from Texas. Just wanted to keep this voicemail under 30 seconds later. All right, thanks, Chupacabra. You succeeded. That was only six seconds long. Hey, Brad, this is Paradox. I've been listening for a couple of years now. Your show is awesome. Always brightens up the day. 
Anyway, Thank you. Uh, there's an update on Skunk Works. Uh, just Don't today, say. he was sentenced to nine years in prison. Holy uh, shit. For the murder of that guy who died in the fire. Yep. Sounds a little harsh to me, but uh, anyway, yeah, I'm gonna so try too. appealing and may still uh, get out of it, uh, go free, or get a lighter sentence or something. Uh, thought you might find that interesting. Yep. Bye. He's gonna end up spending all of his bitcoins trying to not go to prison. But like I said before, he's eligible for parole after 4.5 years, so maybe he'll get that. I bet you he will, unless he starts, you know, hacking the computers in prison and getting himself into more trouble, which seems like a very good possibility. Hello, Raging Bull Cactus Pimp. It's your hey. main man, Rico Rocks, coming at you heavily edited and pre-recorded here. Man, I just wanted to say I miss you very much. I still listen to your show daily at work. Uh, I just on vacation, so I haven't been calling. I went on vacation and broke sobriety, so I just kind of got back to the real world recently. You dummy. Um, I'm watching Powder right now. I was listening <laughs> to a show, like, four, 14 or something last night at work, and you mentioned Powder, the same guy who directed Jeepers Keepers. It is a weird fucking movie. Yeah. Thanks for your recommendation. I always I, liked I, it. I really like it. Keep up the great work. Your shows are amazing. I'm still the biggest fan as I ever was. I miss you, Brad. Stay positive. Rape people. Thank you. What the hell? Cactus, cactus, Texas rape. Don't don't say that. And really, you pre-recorded a voicemail and played it for me? That's pretty impressive. That's dedication to calling into the voicemail line. Hey, Brad. Um, I don't know if anyone else has asked you this, but did you get the Sensei Doug idea from Key and Peel? Because, you know, they did this one sketch where it looks like an 80s commercial and the sensei's name was Doug, I think. What? I was not aware of that. No, that's not where that came from. You know, there was also this stoner comedy a few years ago and they had a character on it called Taekwon Doug, which I'm certain they stole from me. Or maybe they stole it from Key and Peele. But no, Sensei Doug came from the name of the actual sensei that was next to one of those first people I called who were right next to a karate place or whatever. I think I saw a sign in the window that said Sensei Doug, or maybe it was just in his listing, or maybe it actually said Sensei Dong and I just misread it. Who knows, but I didn't get it from Key and Peele. I haven't really seen a whole lot of Key and Peele sketches. Thank you, everybody, for the voicemails. Thanks for listening to the show. I hope you enjoyed it, at least more than the chicken show, which everybody hated, except for me and Lord of Veggies, apparently. Thank you to the sponsors of today's show, Boca Recovery Center, DeLorean J, Lord and Lady of Veggies. I wonder if Lady of Veggies liked it. She probably hated it, too. Unfortunate Byproduct and Ryan Jardina. Thanks, all of you, for supporting the show. And if you'd like to support the show, you can do that by going to patreon.com slash phone losers or phone losers.com slash cactus or newproject2.com slash phone losers. You know, I'm just going to say those two, those first two. It's too complicated if I put a third one in there. It's too much to think about. I've got the link on phone losers.com. That's good enough. But thanks everyone who's supporting the show. Everyone who supports the show gets a bonus show every week known as the Hobo Sodes. And I was just looking at the list of hobo sodes. The most recent one was called Robot Impersonators. And I remember a couple of the calls from that being somewhat amusing. Be sure to listen to that, hobo sode number 185. It looks like on the file name, though, I wrote Robert Impersonators. That's how I spelt robot, is Robert. I'm such an idiot. Hopefully it's not dead links to all of the shows everywhere I put them up. I'm such a dummy. So I don't know if I'm going to get the show posted tonight. I'm going to try to. I don't have a lot of time left because I have other things to do. And it's getting kind of late. But every once in a while on Wednesday nights, we start up the Facebook stream at facebook.com slash phone losers. And we take phone calls. We don't make prank calls. It's usually me and Mr. Biggs. We just kind of hang out for an hour and take some phone calls. And I know I mentioned this last week, and anyone who tuned in was probably very disappointed because due to circumstances, I didn't want to do the show at all, but I did it anyway. I made a mistake and did it anyway, but I don't foresee any problems tonight. We'll probably be on the air on facebook.com slash phone losers. Be sure to listen. I'll put links in the show notes to the three places you can listen tonight at around 10 p.m. Pacific time, one in the morning Eastern time. You can listen to the show, call in, say hello if you want to, try and derail the show, whatever you want to do. It'll be fun, or at least it'll be much funner than last week was. Here's a song that Dr. Tom Servo sent me. This one is called Free Water Remix. I moved into my new apartment at the end of February. 
surprised to find that the water was free. The lady in the office said it's included in the rent. Use it as much as you want. I had their total consent. Full scale model I sculpting. Okay, I'm 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 familiar with how laundry is done. 